Alrighty, so wrap up video for the deck. I actually went 5 0 in the league that I played with this deck and crushed all comers. Um, I think the deck's great, actually. Surprisingly powerful, surprisingly fast, surprisingly resilient, I would say, in all of those areas. Um, one thing that it's easy to compare to the deck to Infect, right? And it's easy to say, oh, it's just a worse Infect deck because the Infect deck has Infect creatures, so it's easier to kill. But the, the this deck does have some nice things. For example, Thing in the Ice is interactive, whereas Infect doesn't interact as well. Thing in the Ice can uh, interact with your opponent's board and clear the way and be good with Tamir Battle Rage and kill the opponent. You also have more card selection and better card selection, um, so you're less likely to just draw a terrible hand and die. Now the Snapcasters weren't amazing, I would say, for me in, in the league, but I like the idea of them. Maybe start two next time, could even have some in the board. I didn't really ever bring in the Bedlam Rubbler. Uh, I would kind of want more twisted images actually. I think it's such a powerful effect in in some matchups that it's worth another twisted image. I mean, it's, it's exactly what the deck wants. A cheap spell that interacts with the opponent and draws a card. Uh, other than that, I think the deck just did well. I like the one Bedlam Reveler main. I liked... Mm, Maybe four mutagenic growth is right. I mean, I didn't really miss not having the fourth one, but it's a very powerful card. Maybe going more all in, swap a snapcaster for a mutagenic growth, another apostle's blessing is just correct, but I like having the uh, backup plan of snapcaster value as well. I think I'll give the uh, deck another try sometime, and I will also play some other decks sometime, and I hope you join me for those as well. And I'm Sean McLaren, signing off for SRG. You have yourself a wonderful day.